Hi guys, Miss Raymond again. We're going to be finishing up our book today. We're going to be putting it together. You can draw illustrations if you want to. If you don't have time to do all that, then sometime on a rainy day, whenever you're bored, have a little extra time, you could always go back and illustrate your book then. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have down here. Miss Raymond has all kinds of supplies all over. So an easy way, if you have notebook paper or something, a real easy way to finish it out is just to put staples in it. And so notice I kind of had to squish up the paper a little. I want to make sure my pages are nice and straight. And then I can just put a couple staples in my book like this. Okay. And then, oh, that one turned out kind of funky and it isn't on the line. I'm going to just take it out. You know, sometimes mistakes happen when you're making the things and that's okay. Back and try again. And there you have a neat little book. If you want to go just a little bit fancier, what I did was I just took a pen actually. You take a pen or a pencil. I chose a pen because it wouldn't break like a pencil. And I poked some holes through there. Okay, I did it, you know, oh, probably three or four pages at a time. And then in order to make sure my holes line up, I took the next one pages and I used one page that already had holes because I want all my holes to be in the same spot on the paper. And then I just poke some more holes like that. Now here I have a cupboard. This is just a little piece of poster board. Um, you could use construction paper. You could use cardstock. You could even use, if you wanted a tougher cover, a piece of cereal box or something like that, um, a piece of cardboard. And I cut it just a little bit bigger than my book so that I have an edge all the way around it like that, okay, on both sides and I folded it in half. And I'm gonna just take my pen in the same place, and line it up, and I'm gonna just poke holes through there. Okay. Okay, so then I just, I have some raffia here. That's what this stuff is called. You could use string, yarn, an old shoelace. I don't know, just whatever would go through there. Okay, and I'm gonna get a length, this about twice the size of my holes. And then I wanna tie a bow, so I'm probably gonna do it about four times the size of my hole. If it's a little bit big, that'll be okay because you can always trim off the extra later. Okay, but you don't want it to be too small. I'm going to stack up. Oh my goodness. Okay, all my pages, I'm going to make sure they're in order. And then I'm going to put this string and I may have to go through and even make my holes a little bit bigger. Once you've got the initial hole, you can kind of shove the pin in there more to make it just a little bit bigger. Okay, and what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to go on the cover, it's a little bigger because otherwise my, your string or your yarn or whatever won't go through them. And I'm gonna poke this way. And I'm gonna go through all the pages down this way. Okay. I actually have my book upside down. The middle of it is open on the table, okay, Go through all my pages like that. Okay, there's the middle of my book. And then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna skip the middle hole. I'm gonna go down through this top hole as well, through all the top holes in my book as well, all the pages. Goodness gracious, sorry, I'm using my pen to make the hole a little bit bigger there. Let's see here. Oh, let's see it poking through. I have to work with it a little bit. Okay. If you happen to have a mom who sews and has a needle, you could even put your string in a needle, put through. But I know most people don't have those things, so I'm showing you how to do it without that. Okay, make sure my hole is nice and big there in the middle as well. And you'll notice this is what it looks like on the cover side. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put both strings down through that middle hole. You might have to kind of 
pull it out a little. And I guess I'm feeling Kristen C. I chose a red cover and a green string, whatever color you want. As you can see, stapling it would be much, much easier. So I'm going to put both of these down through here. Both of them down through the middle hole. So now it looks like this in the middle of your book. You just got to get through the middle of the thing. And I found you can take your pen and just kind of help poke it through, especially the second one. Let's see. Not always the easiest. There we go. And once you got them through, you want to just kind of pull it tight. So you pull on the inside loops till they're tight and then pull the string through on the other side like that. So it's nice and tight. You don't want it so tight it'll rip the paper, but nice and snug there. And then I'm going to just take these and tie them in a bow just like you tie your shoelaces. Oh, it's not tight. I'm going to snug that up just a little bit more. There we go. Okay, just like you tie your shoes. I'll just kind of make it pretty. And there's a bow. And then if you want to trim the ends, you can do that. If your string isn't staying well, you may want to double knot it. Okay. And there is our preposition book. Now, if you have time, you can go in and draw some pictures. I did a picture in here for the word like. Okay. So like is an interesting preposition because it can be a preposition that means the same as. I ate brownies that were like heaven, the same as heaven. She was like a statue. Just comparing two things. However, be very careful because some of our prepositions can also be verbs. If I say I like brownies, then like is a verb. So sometimes it's a preposition, sometimes it's a verb. And you see here, I drew two things that were like and put a check mark next to them. And then I drew two things that were different and put the big no sign. So that would be my illustration for that. And um, I'm not expecting your illustrations to be absolutely great. As long as they convey a message, that will be great. So there is your book of prepositions. Fourth grade, I hope you have enjoyed this project. I hope you have learned about prepositions and how they can make our writing more interesting more clear and how they can help it flow better. Have a great day and I will see you later.